Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to get your game saves from Xbox 360 Old Rim to Special Edition on PC. Tried looking around to see if there was a solution. There's really no videos on this, so I hope this helps out somebody. You're only going to need a couple things. You're going to need a copy of this program called Horizon on your PC. I'll put a link to it in the description. If the link doesn't work in the future, you can just look up Horizon Xbox 360 on Google and a bunch of links should pop up to download it. You're going to need a USB drive. Any size should work. You're going to need a copy of Old Rim on your Xbox 360, and you're going to need a copy of Special Edition on your PC. Nothing else. All right, let's get started. So you're going to want to start up your Xbox 360, navigate to Skyrim, it's going to be on your hard drive usually, whichever save you want. As you can see, there's no mods for Old Rim. And I want to play with mods, so that's why I'm putting it on Special Edition on PC. So go ahead and go down to Load. See, Just make sure you get that the save exists, whichever one you want. Check and make sure you know the name of the character you want, if you have multiple characters. I'm going to pick this one from 2016. High Elf, level 63. Not much else for me to do in this game, so I'm going to go on PC and add some quests. Just make sure everything's fine and in order. Make sure you're not about to fight a dragon, because that'd be chaotic. Go ahead and put your USB into the Xbox. There's two more ports in the back if you need them. It should light up or whatever. I'll see you on the Xbox 360. Alright, so we're on the 360. You're going to navigate all the way to the right to the settings. Go to storage. You should see your hard drive and your USB, but it saves going to be on your hard drive. Navigate all the way down to Skyrim. It's going to be in the S section. I kind of skipped it there. A little dyslexic. Alright, and you should be able to see the name. Copy it to your USB. You might have to format your USB. Your Xbox will let you know if you have to do that. Just click yes. It's going to erase everything from the USB drive, so make sure you have everything off of it that you may need. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and check your formatted USB drive. Games and apps. Alright, it's there. Cool. I'll see you on PC. Once you're on PC, plug in your USB drive, open up Horizon. Horizon should recognize your USB immediately. Go to Games, go to Skyrim, and it should be there. Double click the save, go to Contents. You should see a game, save game.dat file. That's the save you're looking for. Click on it, click Extract. And you're going to want to navigate from your PC or my computer to Documents, to My Games, to Skyrim Special Edition, Saves. That's where all your saves are for Special Edition on PC. Now go ahead and just, I usually name it like the name of the character plus where I got it from. And we're almost done. So you're going to want to get out of Horizon. So go back to my computer or this PC, documents, my games, Skyrim Special Edition, saves. Scroll all the way down to your new save and you see how it says type file and all the others are type ESS files. It's because we haven't formatted it so that it's a file that Elder or so special edition can accept. So go ahead and go to properties. Very simple, just add dot ESS at the end. And that should format it to be a file that Skyrim can accept. See it's the same as everything else. Alright, let's go ahead and open up the game and see if we can find it. Alright, so we're in the game. You're not gonna want to click continue, you're gonna want to go to load. So go ahead and click on load, show all saves, and there we go right at the top. There's the save we're looking for. It's unmodded because it's from 360. And you see how the thumbnail's kind of messed up, but that's okay. It's going to be fixed later on once we're in the game. You have to save in the game on special edition at least one time so that you know it can register it as a special edition save. And as you can see, there's a bunch of mods loaded on this version. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and see if those load up in game. So load it up. Yep. Alright. And load times are way faster on PC, so that's always nice. There we go. Alright. Mods are already loading in. You know, we got great swords being added from mods. You got different lighting mods. You got this, I don't even know what this is, this beneficial potion, whatever. Ordinators in. Alright, cool. 
you're going to want to wait 24 hours just because if you have a lot of mods, it's going to take a while for them all to load in. There you go. Now you see why I said make sure you're not fighting a dragon because if all those are loading in and you're fighting a dragon, I don't know, my, my PC's not that great. It'll probably crash it. All right, so after you make sure everything's in order, you are going to want to save so that it's saved as a special edition file. Once you save, just go back and double check, make sure everything's good. Go to load, show all saves, and there we go. You got your forgotten veil file. Or well, that's my that's my file. Yours is gonna look different, but the thumbnail should be fixed. Everything should be in order. Yep, there we go, guys. Everything's perfect. Now you can continue with that. It might be a little glitchy if you have some certain mods, but it shouldn't be. It should work perfectly fine. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helped.